Hello, Bricks fans. A uh, really quick one today. I'm not sure if you can hear, but I'm still in the middle of having a bit of a cold here. So I'm going to keep this one really, really brief. Uh, this is a quick tip for Bricks developers. So anyone who's writing code with Bricks. Um, and one of the things that I sometimes want to do is enqueue some of my code, uh, JavaScript or CSS, in the Bricks editor or in the preview, the Bricks preview. Uh, and as far as I can find, there are no hooks for this. There's no uh, WordPress hooks for that in uh, Bricks itself. So what we've done is in WP code box here, we've created a PHP function here. And all that's doing is when we fire the, w, or when WordPress fires the WP enqueued scripts, we're going to call our function here. Uh, and what that's going to do is check whether the Bricks is build a main function exists. So make sure that Bricks is enabled. We are, we do have the function and then call the function. If it returns true, we're going to fire our own actions here. I've called this WPE Bricks build a main, is build a main. Uh, and then we've got a second one for the Bricks preview. So if the function is uh, uh, build a preview exists and that function returns true, we're going to fire the do action uh, Bricks is uh, build a preview. So that's the PHP for it. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick example of where this could work. So I then created a second uh, uh, bit of code here in WP code box, which is a JavaScript code. I've got it disabled at the moment. Uh, and what I'm doing is firing this on a custom action. And this custom action is going to be my WPE Bricks is builder main, which is fired over here if we are in the Bricks builder. Okay, so I'm going to show you what that actually does. So in my builder, if I select this heading here and go to my background and select the colors, see Bricks here always shows swatches. Okay, if I look at it as a list, there's my list there. I go back out of it, I come back in. And I go back to my heading here, and it's back to being a bunch of swatches. So there's no defaulting it to a list, which is what I prefer because I want to see what they are. So what I've done in WP Code Box here, I've created this function here, which loads in the builder, and I'm going to enable that. Save that. I don't think we need to do that. I'm going to refresh this editor. Okay, going to slow there. All right, so grab our heading again here, go into my background color. And when I look at it now, it's a list instead of a grid. So even if I change it to a grid and then go away, come back again, get back to my header, and it's back to being a list. So it's defaulting to a list instead of a grid. And this is the JavaScript that does that. I'm not going to go into that. I've done a previous video on that. That's the JavaScript that does it. And this here is the hook that fires it, which fires the WPE Bricks is build a main and WP code box is going to fire this on a custom action, which is the one that's called when we're in the main. And you do the same, obviously, if you're in the preview, if you want to day uh, some scripts or some C JavaScript or CSS or whatever to load in the preview. So that's the quick tip. Um, I'll bring this up on the screen because I'm not going to share the code. Uh, and you can copy that if you want to, because it's very, very simple. Uh, and I think it's a pretty cool way of doing it. Anyway, I'm going to let that in there and catch you later.